Hello everybody, what's new here universe? I hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings with my own experiences. Today we're gonna talk about creative work. It is the drawing picture, yes, amazing. It's one more, amazing, good, it's piano, nice. And uh, guitar is here, amazing. And you know, how to be productive. Need to, do th need to do things. Sometimes you maybe think that some resistance, some power of laziness is stopping you from it. But maybe you are right, maybe not. I think that you are kind of in a medium position. Uh, uh, laziness, it is a progress too, it is a creativity too, but not what considered in our society as something creative. Yes, yes. Because when you are lazy, you are always, you are always going on one idea. You are making it more valuable, like super valuable, super valuable if you are lazy. It is uh, like uh, good points of laziness. It is nice, like always with nice values of your life, you will know why you live and something like this. It will be circling inside of your mind. It will be like... Super strength. If you want to improve your like, uh, you are going in comfort zone, and your comfort zone should be like super strong. Then need to be lazy. <laughs> some some funny stuff, but uh, yes. If you want to make it stronger, your circle, then need to s stop doing anything. But if you want to go further, if you want to expand your comfort zone, your creativeness potential, then need to create. Because creating it is something when you broke walls of your comfort zone. Understand right now? Uh -huh. uh, did you catch it? Did you catch it? When you are in comfort zone, then you are create barriers. A lot of them. Like, Jesus Christ, they are so strong. But to go away need to do creative work and you break them and it me it means if you want to kind of sell yourself sell to people sell and uh, say that i done this i know that i i can do this 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 that you are kind of in your comfort zone circle and you are not creating anything new if you are not like a <laughs> creative man and improvising to other people what can you what should you do but uh, in most cases presentation it is kind of uh, you are speaking about what you've done before yes not like improvising that oh i've done this and that and this and this uh, sometimes okay uh, s stop stop doing this uh, okay step back and uh, about creativity if you want to be creative, you need to create. That's all. That's all. Really. I think so. And uh, if you want to be a drawer, draw. If you want to be piano player, play. If you want to be a ukulele player, play. If you want to be a writer, novelist, then need to write. That's all. Nothing else. And uh, sometimes it is kind of hard to see it to do this. Why? Do you know? Because my 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 personal opinion about it, sometimes it is hard to sit there because you are rhythmically, rhythm, rhythmically you are inside of one process, you are inside of the process creating your like comfort zone stronger, like to be, I aware what I do, I know everything about my life, I'm so like confident, I know exactly what I do, what I was doing previously and something else. But when you go out of your comfort zone, then you are kind of see this resistance of these borders. It means if you are con continuously, if you are constantly doing things, then you can do this easily. But it will be a little bit harder to present yourself to people because you will be super like uh, inside of your creative work and you will be like Jesus I am so shizoid and uh, something like this way because I remember how I was writing for like five hours my own language I was creating it a lot I was doing like sitting and typing some random words 
really random. Like Shalama the Red Kadach Ktap Lekley Dareita Pasheita Rapate. I'm not okay. Like this way. I said something random right now. I said something random, really. Right now it was super random talk. I said it. Uh, really, I don't know what uh, does it mean. Maybe you know. Uh, <laughs> let me guess and uh, guess, please, in the comment section below what it means. But when I started to do it so, and I was doing it four or five hours, I started to understand who will understand me? Who will understand my talk and something like this? Am I. I, I even recorded one video, you remember, maybe, on this channel. I was speaking like. Will people understand me or not? Or should I, I... I need to speak. Because right now I'm in a way that I maybe can't produce any sounds of English language. Of Russian, my own native language. I started to think this way, but it was kind of... Really? Why? What, what the hell? Oh, one sound of the something notification. And uh, I started to think this way and uh, when I started to again establish my comfort zone, I mean that I I was not lazy, but I stopped a little bit my creative work, super mega creative, like going there and for and uh, not repeating what you learned and connecting it with previous experience. Yes, I started to connect it with previous experience and started to feel really comfortable. I started to understand that, oh, right now I can present present my language that RL, RL Fanchant, also Galivar, Agaralips, and also Sfikiliki, and uh, things of this nature, uh, what I created, uh, and Malran, things, I know what is it. And I can, in any cases, to show it to people what I meant. But if uh, I could go further on creative work, like working on it for 1000 hours straight, then I don't know, will I speak <laughs> English <laughs> again or not? I think that yes, I will, but it will be all kind of work for my mind, like need to remember how to say hello in English, need to remember how to say привет in Russian and something like this. Okay, I hope that you understood my talk, understand, and what should we do? We should do creative work to go further. And uh, sometimes you should kind of reflect about things that you created and see to them without emotional part, super emotional about things that you created. Sometimes you can say like, oh, geez, I created something not really nice. But need to think that, yes, you created amazing. you done amazing job. Be proud of it. And uh, think about how can you present it to, to another people. Or if you do this for yourself, then don't be shy about it. If you did it for yourself, it's okay. And uh, what next? Ah, today also I was doing composing work. What I was doing? I was uh, singing, like... I was singing this way, and I was trying to compose my own song. I created yesterday one song. It is super nice, I want to say. That, uh, where is it? I, maybe here. I will open right now, maybe you will hear some sounds. It is not really nice sound, because it is kind of... Uh, I was... Uh, I was singing it before, but... And then I started to use a specific app, specific software to make it uh, like... Like notes. I will show you right now these notes. They are super not nice. Look. <laughs> yes, they are, they are this way. And I will open right now cool part that I created. It is really amazing. One moment, where is it? I think that somewhere here. Ah, it's not this file. One moment, I will open the correct one. I will... I will show you what I created. I started to do compos composing. I composed not like fully, but started composing. 
started composing of 11 different songs in a mini of notes. Previously I was doing writing stuff about writing stuff about them. Oh, let's listen. Let's listen here. Here or something. You maybe heard that uh, nice sound. Nice sound. Nice, nice, nice. I created it and also we have different others, but need to correct them. Need to correct them in a mini of uh, harmony. Because I was singing it and my software catched it not really correct, what I was singing. And uh, I mean that need to a little bit think in a mathematical way about them and uh, connect correct notes in a mini of not, of not <laughs> this way of things, yes? But in a mini of <laughs> kind of this, it will be more soundish for us, yes? For human. And um, what should I do next? I think that continue working. I do writing. I don't know how to... I know, I know, I know. But uh, I kind of guess sometimes, will someone w be interested in what I create? I think that yes. I think that yes, people will be interested. But I create a lot and uh, sometimes, really, I understand that everybody can do this. It is easy to create new things. It is really elementary easy. And uh, sometimes I have kind of inside of me talk, like how should I sell it without like wanting to sell. Sell in the meaning of, of that, hey dudes, buy this, buy that, and something like this. Need to bring value so somehow. On the internet, maybe th through it, oh Jesus, one more, oh, again, sounds of this. And uh, need to bring value uh, somehow. And uh, I understand that any book you can write by your own, any song you can write by your own. And what people buy, maybe professionality or connection. Because if the dude has experience of 20,000 hours, then it is kind of respectful to buy his product. Because people want to be like him. In a mini of like, for example, you are a composer and you we are composing for 20,000 hours. It's a huge number. And people who want to be the same level, they want to listen. But understanding this, that if they want to be on this level, don't need to listen to this person. Need to kind of ask questions that you are interested in. And then need to continue grind. That's all. Like one, one time ask and that's all. Do. Also for what people maybe are interested in, in love communication. Like being in a specific community. It is I understand why people want. Because sometimes people feel lonely and to not be lonely in their understanding, they want to be inside of the community. The same as for love with girls or maybe with boys if you are girls or you are with, uh, with minor types of orientation. And uh, if people in, in society, sometimes, sometimes I feel like I want to be with a girl. And this feeling like it will be nice to be hugging each other and to, like, uh, to show it to her and maybe she will share something from her. But sometimes I mostly like to show my stuff, if I say it uh, truly. But that will bring value to her. You understand? Bring value to her, it means that she will smile or something. Sometimes I like to hear what people speak too, but not like uh, if uh, it is something smart talk. Sometimes I can think about smart things by my own. You understand that sometimes you don't need uh, someone to to like teach you. You need to something like to guide you. When you ask questions, you kind of can ask and then people listen to you. Yes, maybe it is what I like. It is uh, when I 
I imagine, I imagine. I have a partner, yes, and I can ask questions and this person can answer to me. It is what I love to be in the communication. And talking about things, I like joking also. And when people joke too. But for me it is hard to joke because sometimes I have a really like super authentic interests. I mean that I don't watch I don't watch TV series. I don't do th- I I do this all alone like it's my favorite place when I sit alone at home and do hard work and uh, productive work. And uh, people when joke to me it is kind of not really easy for them to find the topic. I can kind of dive into character that they speak and try to make uh, belief in jokes, but uh, it is uh, much interesting when it is sincere. And the girl that I was speaking yesterday, she told one joke and I was sincere laughing because of the joke. It was like she she's the first person for last maybe th- three months or something that what that made me laugh not even one time and it is really like nice nice she was talking about stuff that i know and uh, something like this sometimes i speak with people and uh, i i'm not fully in, inside their interests you understand maybe it like to tell a joke to a person who is not a fan of uh, Game of Thrones and tell a joke about Game of Thrones. Will this person laugh? I don't think so. He could kind of imagine this uh, situation, but not fully. Yes. And uh, I like to tell jokes and I like when people tell jokes that I'm interested in <laughs> and when they give information that I'm interested in. About their things, I can support them, yes. Sometimes I love to support people when I feel like I want to support. And again, it is about me. About me. Is our life selfish or what? I don't think so. Spinoza wrote, or some somebody like this way, philosophy... Yes, I think that's Spinoza. Spinoza wrote that our life is selfish to two, two, two directions. Selfish, you can think about uh, life selfishly, and also you can uh, think about worldlessly. Like in, in, in the meaning of universe and all kind of people. And uh, when you think uh, worldlessly, then I don't understand why should I sell stuff. Yes? It is kind of t- er, n- inside of me talk. Why should I sell something to people? And here is the selfish person of me. Because I need to pay rent. I need to eat food or something. And to continue doing creative work. (laughs) And uh, is it a good reason to take money? Yes, I think that uh, mostly what I kind of think inside of me it is about making money because i'm super creative i am super productive but i prefer entrepreneurship but now i am inside of the entrepreneurship that is free i write books for free i do drawings and music for free and uh, I think that it is good. It is good for, like, beginner level. But now my writing is better. And uh, I think that I am a really nice writer. Because my thoughts are really good. And, uh, like, they are experienced. And uh, is it good to take money from people? And how to do this? Need to... Because it is kind of inside of me talk. I think, yes, it is good. Not like... a. Hey, I will take your last money, give me this. But need to bring value. Need to bring more value. Yes, yes, yes. Need to understand how much it costs. Like in uh, market. And to think more about market and sell it for uh, stuff that uh, will be like... I understand how market works. And I sell it on the marketplace. 
with market price. Maybe lower. Need to understand, yes. Need to know your price. Need to know your price and uh, it will be correct. Because right now I don't know my price. I know kind of, but I can't say that it is super big, huge and amazingly. Because I think that I'm a really good person and a really genius. <laughs> and uh, I think so. And uh, you are too. But if we are geniuses all, then why should I sell it? <laughs> like, you can create it by your own. Okay. Okay, I think that uh, it is uh, the dilemma that... Uh, we can sell. We can solve this by starting selling something. To try, to try. Need to need to get used to it. Need to get used to it. I think so. What do you think about it, uh, viewers? Let me know if you watched till this moment about selling. How to sell without like being being. I don't know how feel guilty for selling yes maybe about it how to sell without being guilty because i understand that i create these things that people all people around the world can create by your own and i understand that why should i sell it when people can create it by your own i should give them and that's all maybe as a way to say maybe need to put more like Free, 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 and then upload something for money that people can say thank you for uploading this for free. Maybe this way. Yes, I think so. So, this decided. <laughs> and now the prices of the market. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Be cool, improve daily, and go forward. And also do jobs that people maybe ask for, need to find demand. Need to find demand, yes, need to find demand that people are really say to me that I need it, I need it. Yes, maybe in this way. So, thanks so much for watching, improve daily, do creative works, writings, music, creating, and also drawings, paintings. See you next time. Architectures of your life. Go forward. Improve style daily. And you know that everything in your life depends only on you. You can achieve your goals. You can do anything. Absolutely anything in your life. Bye-bye. It was Igor. Russian and Quebec. So let's do my own experiences. Own experiences. Bye-bye.